You can't escape her. Yeah, <laughs> you can't um, escape her. You just her. can't. Um, I, look, I, we just, Taylor Swift is everywhere. Aside from the NFL stuff and the Super Bowl, which we talked about, now she is um, extremely, <laughs> according to one poll, uh, extremely inf influential in presidential politics. Well, not just influential. She could turn this election. So many people are looking at her to know what to do. She could turn this election. Uh, there was a poll uh, that came out that said 18%, 18% of voters said they were more likely to vote for a candidate if Taylor Swift uh, were backing them. Taylor, now, there's, a, there, them. there's another side to that, which is 17% of the people said, said they were less likely. Which is reflective of America, folks. Right. Uh, <laughs> Divided uh, down the middle. So just how powerful could she be? Uh, there's someone who has studied um, celebrity influence in the world of politics. Uh, his name is Mark Harvey. He's a professor at the University of St. Mary uh, and wrote this book, Celebrity Influence, Politics, Persuasion, and Issue-Based Advocacy. The fact is most celebrities do not have that much impact when it comes to endorsement. And it's not that we that they definitely do not. It's just that it's kind of hard to prove with all of the other variables running around in the environment. I mean, most people's models on who's going to become the president have more to do with, you know, how in high inflation is or what's the president's approval rating and, you know, what's the economy like and how do I feel? Um, not so much about, like, who supports the president or the other candidate or whatever. Now, that's not to say it's impossible for that to happen. There is one measured case in which a major celebrity endorsement made a difference, and that was Oprah Winfrey in the 2008 race, where she endorsed Barack Obama in the primaries. And this study, anyway, indicates it may have tipped her over, at least in that primary, which became a tipping point for him to actually run for president. Um, so not impossible, and Taylor's huge. You know, if she had like a major event like Oprah Winfrey did where she came up and gave a big speech and, you know, did that, you know, who knows? Maybe that's possible. Um, but there are a lot of other factors going on here that probably would reflect that 18 to 17 percent difference. She's going to make a huge difference to those 18 percent of people and she's going to turn off the other 17 percent.